Here we have uh, yellow jewelweed or pale jewelweed, sometimes called pale touch me not. The jewelweed name comes because the when it gets covered with water, it kind of jewels up, and some people say that these flowers that are hanging from it look like little pendants or jewels. The touch me not comes from the seed pods. This is an annual plant, and it shoots its seeds out in order to spread them. It does this when it's dry enough and something touches the actual pod and thus the name touch me not. Um, this one's still a little green looking, but we're gonna try. By the way, um, jewelweed is, is a great uh, cure for, well, it helps relieve the symptoms of poison ivy and any other kind of itching. It's a very juicy plant and you can wipe the juices on you and that helps to relieve itching. Um, a little country folklore kind of prick. Uh, the, um, the actual seed pod, I'm gonna see if it actually is gonna pop for us. And the seed pods, the little nutlets inside, are edible if um, you know you were, were happen to catch them. Some people really like them, think they taste like walnuts. Other people have a raspy feeling in their throat and don't really care for them very much. But we're going to try this. So when I touch it, let's just see if the touch me not will pop. Oh, doesn't. Oh, and I don't know if the seed's still there. Looks like we we ended up catching the seeds too. This is touch me not. I caught the seed. It was still green, so it didn't go very far. But that is the touch me not. And this one, the yellow touch me not or pale touch me not, pale jewelweed is much less common than the normal orange one we're used to finding. Usual pollinators are uh, bumblebees and um, and hummingbirds. I see other things sometimes going to it, but around here it looks like what I've been seeing is mostly um, bumblebees. And now to eat these little pods, they're still green, but we'll see what it tastes like. Thank you.